Hi, I'm David Wiegener. I have just been to Dunedin for 10 days to see my mother. And there she is, of course. I've already shown her when she was about five years old, four years old. Boy, would that pram be worth some money. Maybe now, or the doll in there, you know, from the 1930s, 1928, 1930. Anyway, let's get on with the chess. So I'm going to do that. So here we've got a game that I played this morning in Dunedin, I believe. Yes, it was this morning. Or it was yesterday. One or the other. Anyway, here we go. So it's now April uh, the 4th. Now this is against a very reasonably strong player. So here I go um, thinking, well, I don't want to play um, the obvious main line. So I deflect from the main line, I go D3. So I enter into King's Indian for white um, attacks or defense, whatever you want to call it. D5, Knight D2. C5. Knight G F So white's got a nice station for their knight to go to and the bishop is the worst one of the lot. This white squared bishop from black is like in the French but it's actually outside of these pawns here, the e6 and d5 pawns. So it's probably quite good for black. Now, is f6 attacking my apex pawn on e5, this pawn here? Rook c1, so I'm threatening rook takes knight. So my opponent defends that rook to c8. Rook e1. Now comes f5. That's my move. That's not my move, but I consider it sort of my move. Knight f1, bishop f3, getting rid of their bad white squared bishop. So white has the two bishops obviously versus, and the knight versus the two knights and the bishop. So, but look at this position, it's quite knotted up. So. Knights are favourable in this position than that of bishops, uh, generalistically speaking. Now here, black's annoying my b4 pawn. Black's attacking my b4 pawn once with a pawn, once with a knight, and once with a bishop. So it's been attacked three times, my pawn on b4. So I like to just rid myself of problems by taking this so I can concentrate looking at other parts of the board instead of looking after my B pawn which I can't do anyway. Knight A5 Now here's the pinnacle point in the game. I think well it looks like I'm going to lose this. So what I do now is not a secret to the juniors from the Canterbury Chess Club, but it might be to you. So what would you play here as white? 
Now, I'm not saying that it's absolutely great or the best move in the world or whatever, nothing like that. I'm just saying that it was quite a good move, especially being that this is a five minute chess. I now play rook c8, relieving the pin of this knight by the bishop on f g5. I don't want that. Excuse me, I want to cancel. So that this knight can thereby move if it so wishes. So queen c8 is more or less the force move here. Nothing better. So what does I play now? I play knight d5. And this is just sacrificing a whole piece, really. So takes and bishop takes and basically, believe me, the best move here for black is what they played, king h8. How should I continue? I go e6. And this looks quite good for black because other than these two pawns are looking quite menacing. Knight b6. Now this looks like this is great for black because black's stopping all white's play. And, and at the same time attacking my bishop on b2. So I've got to be careful for that. And so if I do e7 here, then my opponent will merely just take the pawn with the bishop and, or, and be threatening at the same time the knight takes the bishop on b2. So I go bishop a1, thinking that the main move that I thought of was this for black. But my opponent went bishop e7. And now after d5, I think they make a mistake here after looking at this. I think they should now, even though that's quite a problem, um, I think they should now play bishop a3. Okay, that's what I think because this has got some restraint on the d6 move that I get in the next move. So my opponent plays knight a3. And I'll just play d6. And now comes the ask. Now this is like probably the best thing to do now is this. But this is no good. Because of new variation. Queen d6. Now if knight c2, that would not do. Firstly, I can just play this with a threat of rook takes knight and if the queen takes the rook back queen takes rook checkmate so that would be no good so here this would be um, doomsday really for um, black maybe here and This may be the next move, this move, and so on, which is almost getting into the main line. Bishop f6, and now we're e7. So here, black played bishop e7, and I went pawn takes. Now my opponent probably played the right move, but it doesn't look like it. Do you know what my opponent played? There's only two moves really to play, because if the rook moves here or something, that would be rather foolhardy to pawn to e8 queen, etc. Winning major material for white. So my opponent went rook g8. Now, say you're playing this game in the Lightning, what would your move be here for white? So here I played 
a reasonably remarkable move but not really just sort of like we get used to these sorts of things okay one two three queen d4 now note this will not do new variation because of queen takes pawn Rook takes only move because the bishop is defending the queen. e8 queen or even rook forces queen takes. Rook takes checkmate. So, what can black do after queen d4? I play queen e8. Now, I want to just now impress upon you that this position is reasonably sad for black. Because the only thing that they can move, other than these pawns, or the pawns, not that one, is this knight. So I go after queen e8, I went rook e2. And so really, I might be... Um, threatening things here but I'm probably going to leave my rook on here and set about going here and here maybe I'm not sure yet knight c4 f4 a quiet move knight a5 maybe threatening knight b3 so I go queen e5. So what would happen if um, knight here is maybe this move would happen. And please note that if this queen moves even to here or here it's no good because of aforementioned. This might be okay because I can't take here now. Because a queen takes queen. Oh, I can still do it. This is not so good though, but it's still good. But it's not as good. Okay, so. We've got knight c6. And now sadly for black, queen f5. Now, what happens if knight takes pawn now. Then I just gang up on this. And uh, soon thereafter it's not too good. I can possibly do this. I haven't actually looked at this analysis too much this one but I can probably do that but maybe 97 might even be a bit better than what they played b4 now queen g5 now I could just um, move this pawn all the way home to f6 and h6 now what happened the coup de gras the coup de gras however i meant to say it ready set what's the move is checkmate okay that's the end of my session hope you enjoyed it and thank you for visiting my youtube chess channel